Hello everybody, and it's been a while since I've actually showed you the team and all their moves. So as I said in the last episode, I'm going to replace Trevelant just because it's such an obvious move. The uh, Trevelant is not as good as uh, Decidueye, just because of the moves Decidueye can learn compared to Trevelant. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm not gonna read out everything just cause I feel like it's, it's just a lot to read and I'm too lazy right now. Plus I feel like the team's gonna change pretty soon so this is just a nice little, like I guess, another look at it. So yeah, that's the team. I think I'm gonna start it off leading with, not you, I meant to switch into Blaziken. I feel like I could use Halucha, but the thing is, I feel like Halucha is so, is like just one of those Pokemon that's gonna be replaced so soon. I just need an Ice type and he's gone. That I feel like it'd be better to grind Blaziken. And I probably should have d did this before, but I'm just gonna change the camera a little bit. So sorry about that. I know a lot of people don't like it when the camera moves, but uh, I just wanna make sure. You're getting a better view than just like 50% of the screen being like the edges of the 3DS. So yeah. Let's take him on. Okay then, here we go. Don't take it too serious now. Well, I kind of have to because if I don't, you might kill some Pokemon. And there's a car in the background. Sableye. Um, not the start I wanted, not gonna lie. Um, I'm just gonna go for an Inferno Overdrive just because I don't have a fairy on my team. Oh, please don't tell me that cancels the Z move, because if it did, then that is the best play for that Sableye. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, if that cancels the Z move, that Sableye just. Damn, but uh, it didn't, so we're good. Whew, okay. Let's just hope this kills Sableye. Sableye's not gonna be much of an issue. It's not just gonna like a water or psychic move. He's dead, so it doesn't matter. But it's just like one of those Pokemon that. It's, I don't know, this can be an inconvenience to take down, so a Crocorock. See, that is the problem. Um, now we're actually going to go into Hulucha because I don't want to be hit by an Earthquake or Earth Power. Plot to a scratch and end up using Hulucha. Cross Chop should do enough, right? Oh, Flying Press, I forgot. He has the T-Pose on all of them. I, I seriously, I just, oh. This game's great sometimes. The, there's a lot of Pokemon the T-Pose. Yay, Ponyer leveled up. Only like nine more levels or something. So that, now there's a Lolan version. It's probably gonna have a Zenu. So let's go into someone a little bit more bulky. Not that this is gonna at all help. Oh. Sorry about this. It looks like I might have to do some editing. Be quiet, dog. Sorry about that. Probably saw a squirrel or something. Um, wouldn't be surprised if this thing uses a Z move. Oh my god. Could you actually not? Rather annoying. Yep. Oh, let's just hope we can take it. It's a good dark against our fighting normal. We should be okay. Like, Plot Twist uses like a freaking psychic move. Is it raining now? Yes, it is. We should be fine, but where you should be able to take that. <laughs> it's so funny that Bulware disappears. Yeah, it wasn't gonna be that bad. I wasn't really worried. Our team is basically just fighting. Wow. He took that hit. Um, we should be fine. Probably gonna use like a... Yep. See, if this was Fairy, I'd have a... Or Psychic, I'd be very worried.
Well, our speed is definitely not outspeeding it, so uh, let's just hope that it doesn't go for something too bad. Oh, Dark Pulse, we should be fine. I mean, I don't know much things that this thing couldn't ever hurt us. I mean, we're normal fighting. It's really just psychic and fighting moves that are our issue. I guess, yes, fairy, but it's a Dark Pulse. It's, we're fine. To be honest, of all the bosses we've come out, well, I shouldn't say bosses, but at least major battles we've come across, he was definitely, obviously, my least feared, because, like I've said already, he's just dark, that's it. <sighs> Alrighty. I thought he was going to have uh, a pan jump, or whatever it's called. Pa poor, I don't even know what it's called, I'm not even going to try. Pangoru, I think. Darknium Z. You can actually probably hear the rain much, much louder now, but it's still pretty bright out. So weird. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna use that. I can't think of anyone. Oh, I guess there's Necrozma. I hope. I forgot what level you are, but as long as I have Ponyard, I think I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> there, congratulations, everyone. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> but, uh,. But I'm also really hyped, because now we can use the, uh, the Z-move, the ghost one. Again, I don't know if we're going to have a real practical use. Again, maybe. Going to use Spirit Shackle or Z-move. Forgot which one it is. Again, so a thousand arrows. Probably use a thousand arrows again. So I'll turn I don't think it's going to be too bad. I, I don't remember. Necrozma is a psychic dragon. So if we lead in with uh, Decidueye... We're probably gonna be okay, and we have, um, we just can't have so many fighting types, that's why I kinda want the ice, especially that ice fairy, that would've been really helpful, but of course it's level 100. Um, oh, I remember this part, this is my favorite part of the game. It, it's literally like, you're literally sneaking around, Ooh, okay. Ooh. You don't see me. Stealth. No! <laughs> wow, that went horribly wrong. I actually am very ashamed because I never got caught by that guy. <laughs> Let's go. Stealth. Instantly. First guy sees me. Um, don't know what Pokemon they're gonna have, honestly. So it's just Topher Fine. Doug Trio. Ah, uh, Steel Ground. I could take the chance and go for a blaze kick, but if it uses like magnitude and it gets the 10 or 9 or whatever the maximum one is, I'm so, so, so screwed. So let's, let's play it safe and use, um, Toxic Oh my god, no, Toxic doesn't know a water move. And this thing uses Earthquake, I think it's still super effective. Dig. Okay, we have a chance to recover this. Going to Halucha. Okay, I'll come out of dig. Won't affect me because I'm a flying type. And we can go on the flying craft. I'm doing a bad job. <laughs> Already. Flying press. Uh, okay, we're fine. Pico's. Wait. I might have mixed something up, but it doesn't matter. Who should tuck them down? I don't even know what type of long duck trio is. Actually. Someone leveled up and I wasn't looking. It is grand steel, so I don't know. Well, whatever. Don't know what it's weak to. Except for like probably like ice or something. So we got a two cannon. Um This is partially where an ice type would come in handy or an electric type. We can go into Ponyard. 
Um, it's not really gonna help us at all. We don't know any helpful moves, and Decidueye's not gonna help either. Kinda really just gonna have to outstall it with Toxapax. Please. Yeah. A nicer electric, that would be. That'd be pretty helpful. Maybe more on the ice side. Just cause I feel like grass covers a lot of things electric would do, so yeah. And a lot of, unfortunately, while I have so many easies, the ice is at the very end of the game, so we're gonna have to wait till, like, post, not post game, but, you know, like, Elite Four time before we can level up Eevee. And I know there's a flying one, or I think there's still a flying one, it could be changed. Again, I don't want to look ahead, I want to go on this thing by memory, but, yeah. Let's go for Poison Jab, Drill Pack, oh, we're fine. Oh wow, it's a lot. Well, that's also a lot, because they're talk they're poisoned. Forgot, we get crits on poison. Well, let's just be cheeky and do a, uh, painful bunker. We can rack up one more poison turn. I hate doing this. It's such a cheap, like, cheap strategy. I honestly do. If this Marini dies, or whatever its name is, I'm going into, uh, Gyarados. I know it's not the best idea. Oh, actually, I don't know, because I don't know if I should go into, like, Wimpod or Gyarados, because both of them are pretty bulky. But Gyarados can be a lot more of, like, a Dragon Slayer. Like, despite the fact that it's four times two electric. Hmm. A lot of tough choices. But let's just hope Marini doesn't die. <laughs> let's not go ahead and plan for Marini's death. Let's try to keep Marini alive. Alright, so, uh... Just don't rat me out that I'm, like, sneaking into your... workplace. That you're being super suspicious. Oh. Are you gonna be as good as your co-worker? Oh my god. Oh, you know I have to go for this item. Just cause... Stealth. A rare candy. Um, I guess I might use them, especially during the Elite Four grind. Okay, well, no one, no one, just pay attention to three people in the uh, here. Oh, that's right. I gotta fight Faba. Oh no, that's a problem. Faba is a psychic, and I just remembered. Okay, I should be fine. I have a Ghost and Dark type on my team. I can't use literally anyone else, because all... Everyone else is... Weak to Psychic! Oh, God! Oh, why didn't I not think this one through? I forgot Faba's here. If I don't play my cards right, someone could die. Um... I think we'll be fine. He's only got psychics. He's got three psychics as far as I remember. Because I'm pretty sure I, I watched someone else battle him way back when they were doing it. So I think I'll be fine. But then again, he. Oh, this is not the real Faba fight. This is the fight where he's got one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure he battles me again later and he's got three. Um, I'd rather switch into Decidueye because. Yeah, if, this, if he does have a Z-move, I feel like I don't want to lose, um... I don't want to lose Ponyard. Despite Ponyard being just as capable, I just feel like its stats are nowhere near... Oh, Hypnosis. That's not good. Oh, God. Okay, well, you're gonna need to, like, wake up. Let's uh, use an item on you. Let's use a... An Awakening. Because <laughs> I just have one. Probably should buy more of those. Or, like, full heals or something. Nightmare. Ooh! That was a close one. And I clicked clock. Nightmare is a... Is a no go because even, I don't know if it's dark or ghost for whichever one it is. I'm pretty sure it's dark. It's gonna hurt. This is UI. So let's um go into Ponyard here. 
who will be able to take it much better if he goes for Nightmare, which I'm pretty sure he will, because that's the CPU in this game. He's got one Pokemon, and this is, and I'm having trouble, trouble with it, honestly. I don't think Ponyard outspeeds, because his stats are actually terrible, but let's try to go for, like, a faint attack. Oh, he missed. That's good. Did, like, no damage. Oh, did a lot, but, like, would have expected it to kill. And I clicked Fury Cutter. Oh, God, I keep forgetting. Like, when I do SOS, it gives me that, like, confirmation click, but I, no, I'm in SOS, so I don't have that confirmation click. Or, do I mean that, like, it doesn't say, like, do you want to use this move? It just, I've got to double click, because... Yeah, well, I'm going to assume you're going to take a hit, so... I don't know. can't really heal anyone, so... Let's just pretend you're going to wake up this turn, honestly. Disable. Wow. That would have been an issue if we did not have our trusty old Fury Cutter. Oh wait, what? It just does damage every turn. Okay. Well, if you die because of a nightmare, I swear to God. <laughs> hey, you're dead. Okay, well, we're good. I gotta make sure I'm ready for that hypnosis. Next time, because that's gonna be annoying. Ponyard gets ever closer to evolving. <sighs> Alright, well... Well, now you lose, you're gonna help us. Like, how'd you lose one? I mean, you got six Pokemon and you've got one, so, uh... <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, I lost, so uh, I'm going to help you guys defeat what I'm trying to do, because that's... That makes sense. How about I help the kids that are going to try to ruin everything I'm doing? Are you ready? Sure. It's just, this is such an eventful episode. There's just so many people I've got to battle. Let me see that smirk makes you think, oh, he's playing this, but... Duh, hmm. Forgot which one I have to go into, but I'm pretty sure it's the one all the way down. This is like a revive, right? Thanks, that's kind of useless, but whatever. Like, at least I can, like, sell it. You know? There's just blackness. There's just nothingness. That's the void. Like, that's what I don't get. Isn't the Aether Paradise, like, on an island? Like, where, like... Not on an island, it's, like, in the middle of the ocean. So, like, wouldn't this be, like, underwater? How have no one have seen this? Like, you know? They just have this giant thing, or is it like, it's so, so far down. But even then, it just doesn't make sense. So, I forgot what typing you are. Am I Poison Fairy or Poison Psychic? That, that weighs huge, hugely on uh, who I swap into, but we'll go into Ponyard, because I think you're psychic. Oh, it doesn't matter. Regardless, Ponyard's going to be able to take you down. Max defense. You would be the guy to do that. I need to go like, on the official Pokemon website, because like, no one has the data for a Lone and Grimer. Or Muck. I know it's Muck, but... It's Poison Dark. Oh, wow, I was completely off. I just assumed the dark type wouldn't be so flashy, but, 
I, I guess I could go for something like the Metal Claw. I'll do some damage. Wow, that's it. Literally nothing. Uh-oh. That, okay, well, it's dark, so I guess we're going back into a fighting type. Alrighty then. Let's go for a hammer on that should take you out. It didn't. I didn't know poison neutralizes fighting. Okay, wow. I'm sorry, that's like not okay. Oh my god, wow. You have I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go into Blaziken, heal up Toxapex, and swap. Oh my god, my. I should have gone for Earthquake. Why didn't I go for Earthquake? I can try a full heal, but. Hmm. The thing is, if I go into Toxapex, all it's gonna be able to do is just, like, spam pack, but this thing knows more than just poison moves, so. Maybe we go into Blaziken and then. No. No, go for gun shock. Uh, that, that's just probably a really dumb idea. Uh, We'll find out what I'm gonna do in the next episode, <laughs> cause this this episode is enough battling in it as of now. So yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's episode where we try to find a way out of this. See you guys next time. Bye.